In this video, I'm going to give you a detailed tour of the motion blocks in Scratch. Hey guys, and welcome to my series, A Detailed Look at Scratch. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to use the motion blocks in Scratch, which allow sprites to move. Let's get started. As you can see, we have the motion section of blocks right here. Let's start with these three blocks. The Move 10 Steps block allows the sprite to move 10 steps in the direction it is facing, like this. You can also set this to a negative number to move it backwards. Now we have these turn blocks. One turns the sprite clockwise and one turns the sprite counterclockwise, like this. This also affects the Move 10 Steps block too. Now, let's take a look at these go to blocks. The first one is go to random position. You can change this to be random position, mouse pointer, or any other sprites in the project. Go to mouse pointer works as a very fun game controller with a couple of blocks added. Go to XY allows you to choose the X position and Y position of the sprite, like this. Here's also a nice tip. When you move the sprite along the stage, those numbers change in the category right here. So when you drag this block out, it will immediately let the cat go into the position you set it in. Now let's take a look at glide blocks. Glide blocks allow the sprite to glide to any position, like this. Just like the go to random position block, you can change this to random position, mouse pointer, or any other sprites in the project. The glide blocks to XY is a really nice block too. Just like the go to XY block, these numbers change a lot of the sprites X and Y. Let's take a look in the point and direction and point towards blocks. Point and direction allows you to choose a direction you want the sprite to point in. Of course, you can always use this direction block too. Like this. And you can spin the cat around as much as away. This is starting to look a bit familiar. No, 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 scratch it, just, 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 we have something else to do. Point towards mouse pointer allows you to point towards the mouse pointer or any other sprites in the project. Unfortunately, random position is no longer an option, so you're gonna have to make the block by using a random one through 10 block. Change X and change Y allow you to move the sprite by changing its X and Y. And negative values make them go backwards. You can also set the X and Y individually. If on edge bounce allows the sprite to bounce if it's touching the edge, like this. Set rotation style is the final block we're covering today, other than values. Left right allows the cat to only point in the left and right positions. So it will only turn left and right, like this. Don't rotate allows the sprite not to rotate. And finally, all around allows the sprite to move all around. We have a final three values, X position, Y position and direction. This returns the X position, Y position, and direction. That, people, are all the blocks in the motion section. Thank you for watching. If you like learning how to make your own projects, hit the subscribe button. Watch out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. To wrap it all up, here's a special project I made with motion blocks.